<laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm straight out of the hallow. Um, this was um, possibly, I think it just went to the top of my list so far. I know it's when I'm recording, it's an uncomfortable thing. I scratch out. I don't actually have fleas. I just thought I'd qualify that. This poster's hot as well. Um, <laughs> Right, the, the Hallow. What a, what, a, what a work of art. Um, proper old school creature movie, spooky woods, just brilliant. Um, best crowd reaction I've seen yet. Um, probably because the director's family was all, I see him scratching again, um, was all in the screening and uh, they might have been slightly biased, but to be honest, the rest of the crowd were as into it and a fantastic atmosphere. Um, I really, really thoroughly enjoyed that movie. Um, I don't want to say too much about it, but <sighs> what do I want to say about it? It's a, when I get gushy, the, the specifics just disappear from my brain. Um, just I think the, th the thing that's going to push it to the top of my list, I said earlier I wanted to be scared. Okay, I wasn't scared, but there was a genuine moment where all the hair stood up on the back of my neck, all the way down my spine. Um, and if you can do that as a horror director, then, you know, to a hardened horror fan, then very, very well done absolutely fantastic work. I'm now going to see Deathgasm, which is one I've been looking forward to, so let's see if we can top it. Hello everyone. I'm in my garage now, not the underground, and uh, sorry for the thing. I just thought this would stop me like scratching my head and everything while I'm talking to you. Maybe not. <laughs> um, I'm a lucky sod actually, because I just could have got really wet coming home, and I missed all the rain. Um, I've just seen the probably, uh, it trumps everything now, all those serious, intellectual, well thought out, deep and meaningful films, nah, they've all been trumped by Deathgasm. This is the film that if I could have made films, <laughs> I would have wanted to have made. Um, it, it's, I mean, if anybody sort of watching this, you know Little Pot of Horrors, you know I do. Uh, Fantastic Adventures of Boz and Casey, you know I do Here Goes Nothing, which is our metal show. We even do Metal Memories, which is a series of podcasts designed to help you get from the Bon Jovis to the carcasses and the cannibal corpses of this world. So, that this Deathgasm movie couldn't have been more up my street, and i afraid I did go and fanboy gush to the director and just say, I think you're amazing, that film's incredible. Um, if me, me and Casey could have made it, well, we couldn't because we're not as talented as him, but we would love to have made it. It's just fantastic. I mean, the fact that one of the protagonists um, spends most of the movie in a death t shirt, uh, one of my favourite melodic death metal bands in the world, this um, <laughs> is fantastic. I can't say too much because I know Casey's going to watch this, and I've told him he is not allowed to watch this movie without me, some beers, and something to suck on. Uh, that, that sounded so rude. <laughs> I meant something to smoke. Anyway, that's besides the point. <laughs> I might edit that out. I might not. Let's see what happens. Um, yeah, five out of five. Just brilliant for me. Um, this is probably akin to when the Horror Channel did a quick Vox Pop with me last year and I completely screwed it up. And they're like, so what was your highlight movie? And I was just like, Zombievers or Dead Snow. <laughs> it's like... Forget the intellectual stuff that's really well thought out and considered and um, highbrow, let's say. Because they're lost on me. They're the ones where I go, oh, I didn't get it. I didn't really like it. It's a bit surreal. And other people just write a five-page thesis on it. No. Deathgasm's my kind of movie. Zombievers, my kind of movie. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm going to gush about this movie quite a lot in every single podcast I do and radio show and video blog and whatever else I do. So you're probably going to get sick of it, just to pre-warn you. So, ah.